hello everyone welcome back so today's video is about how you can use the custom slash commands bot so this bot will be used to create custom slash commands let me show you how first of all you have to go to this link ccbot.app and uh, this will be in the description so you can click on that then you have to log in okay so after you log in it will show all the available servers and uh, servers with this uh, blue background uh, that means the bot is invited in this server and others are actually not invited so you have to invite in server if you want to use or uh, otherwise just use where you already have so click on it then you will see something like this where it says request sync and zero commands so if we go to create and we have to start by creating a new command and uh, let's give it a name so the name can be anything let's say hello and the description will be something about the command so this command says hello and then you can see the command enabled that means users will be able to use it ephemeral means uh, when the command is responded only the uh, executor who ran this command will be able to see it others will not and uh, let's not uh, take this one and you have arguments we'll talk about arguments later and also about the hooks we'll ta talk about them later now here we have content so content is the actual response that will be sent it can be an embed or uh, content or you can s do both first of all uh, create a embed then you have to select it here okay so let's say we have uh, like uh, hello so the command name is hello and it responds with hello okay so let's create the command and the command is created and you can see this sync now button here you will also see it here and also here so wherever you click it does the same so let's click on it and it syncs the command that means the command has been added to your server now if you uh, edit you can see the information but now let's go to discord and if we type hello you can see this command here so if we just run it uh, we will see hello okay so this is the basic integration now if you want to say hello to the uh, person who ran the command you can use these variables like this user so let's say user name or maybe uh, user dot mention that's okay so hello then curly brackets user dot mention okay so if we run hello again you can see it says hello Shafriya. so you can use these variables play around with them also these variables see what they does uh, and also we have some programmed variables these are things to do specific tasks like uh, if you want to give roles to the user for example this one add roles you can use this variable but you have to use it here so any programmed variable you have to use here you can also use here but not all of them only a few like this text count min max random number but using them here is a good practice so let's say add roles and the first uh, the first thing will be you have to type the user you want to give the roles so it will be just the user user is the person who ran this command so user then you have to put role IDs so if you want to see the role IDs you can click on roles and it, you will see all the roles available to 
that server so let's say we want to give this red role we, we just have to click on the id and it will copy the role id then you have to paste it here now if you want to give multiple you can copy and then uh, put another comma and paste it so let's start with one role and uh, that's it the user and the role id okay so now if we save it and if we run uh, first of all let's see if i have the red role or not so let's remove the red role let's remove all the roles actually okay so if we type hello it will give me the red role now if i check my roles you can see i have the red role so that means this is working now in case of multiple roles you can just copy this blue one let's paste it here save it now again if i remove roles okay so if i type hello you can see i have blue red both so that means multiple role adding is working now you can also use another variable called remove roles it works the same so remove roles user and the role id is to remove if you want to remove these two roles again okay so let's remove this line because we don't want to add and remove the same thing okay so if we now type uh, if I see I have both roles and if I now run it my roles are removed that means it's working now if you want to remove roles after a specific period of time like for example after 10 minutes or 1 minute you can type after equals then in the in the quotation marks you have to say how many times so let's say 10 seconds so that means it will remove the roles after 10 seconds now if i save it and uh, i don't have the roles so let's add it now if i run this command you can see i have the role and let's wait 10 seconds and you will see this role will dip disappear after 10 seconds you can see it disappeared so that means you, you can write here after 10 seconds or you can type something like one month or maybe one, two years so basically any amount of time you want and uh, the pre and the post works the same the pre works before the before the response has been sent and post works after the response has been sent so that's how it works and uh, it uh, you can put multiple variables here multiple programmed variables here like uh, you can use this set response channel here so let's say set response channel and then you have to put the channel id now if you see here we have channels here so for example uh, i have a channel here nothing so let's search for nothing okay here is nothing so if i copy this id paste it here then like this so it will set the response channel to that channel and response will be sent to that channel okay let's see if it works so if i type hello and uh, it's it's doing something it's taking some time okay sorry uh there was a mistake so uh it should be response Pons channel uh, there is a typo here i'll fix it so you have to type response channel set response channel and let's update it and try again if i type hello you can see the response has been sent here so hello software and in this channel it says command executed so this is how you can set a different response channel and also 
instead of saying command execute it if you want it to say something else you can also do that using this set response so set response and in quotation mark you have to say okay done whatever you want and update it now if i type hello again it will say okay there might be some kind of mistake let's see what happened again okay another mistake i will fix it so it should be like set response message these documentations are actually not updated i will update it as soon as possible but it's set response message sorry for that but it will be updated now if i type again you can say it says ok done and the response has been set here so let's delete this so we don't have to see them again and that's how actually these programmed variables work you can also use change nick so it will change the nickname uh, if i let's remove this so we see this better and we can also resize it and we can say oh sorry uh, we can say change nickname then user and his nickname so something like uh, slash command so it will change the nickname of the user to slash commands you can also change nickname of someone else like for example you want to mention someone to change his nickname you can also do that let me show you how so for that you will have to use these arguments and you need a target the, tar the target to remove but not remove change name nickname okay and it will be a member okay and then you can use this target here to slash commands or or maybe you can take the nickname also as input like nick and the new nickname and it will be text and you can use this nick here and you can say like uh, uh, target nickname has been changed to nick okay so that's how it will work and now it will require sync again because we have changed argument so we have to sync again and if i now type hello it will ask for a target so let's keep slash commands as a target and new nickname will be uh, let's say google and you can see it's uh, it has been changed so targets nickname has been changed to google so that's how slash commands uh, arguments work you can take inputs use them here here or anywhere in the command and use them normally so that is the basic demonstration of how custom commands custom slash commands work if you need any more assistance in how it works in depth you can comment on the this uh, comment on the comment box and i will try to reply and also you can join the support server support servers link will be also in the description so you can ask questions directly to me i will try to answer all the questions thank you so much for watching